Hello everyone, my name is Larseth, and welcome back to Europe Universalis 4, and episode 34 of our Luck of the Irish campaign. And let's get into it. Last episode we thought we might be able to sneak in and uh, start a war with England. Unfortunately, we are not so lucky. Um, France, we're in a war with England, and just so happened that they pieced out. France have laid a claim to our throne again. God, they really are uh, trying, aren't they? Hmm. I wonder if that's going to become eventually troublesome for us. Because, like, that just keep, that anno keeps annoying. <laughs> like, it obviously pisses me off. Like, I could, like, technically I could claim there throne, <laughs> actually. Because he's got a weak claim. <laughs> God. Silly. I mean, I would assume we're in inevitably going to get a new heir. Oh, God. Both of our things finished at the same time. That's lucky. Um, I would assume we're going to get an heir, given our uh, king is only just just um, sort of come of age so he's not going to die of uh, old age anytime soon um, so let's build our final trade company up here and then we'll move along building more manufactories along our subarctic islands I had no idea they were so lucrative for uh, for trade uh, not trade sorry for uh, production We do need to uh, maybe start getting some more money, though. So we'll build some... When we've saved up a bit more money, we'll uh, build some more ships. Ship, ship, ships. Can I upgrade any of my navies? Uh, yeah, but I don't think it's t like all that worth it, is it, to be honest? Yeah. No, that's fine. What are these guys from Norway doing? Norwegian peasants. Hmm. Have uh, Norway got... No, they don't have it up here in Vinland. It looks like Netherlands going to get their first uh, colony soon enough. God, I can't believe they had the gold to claim our throne. You better not die. I swear to God, this guy better not die. <laughs> Uh, I, sp I assume the rebels we support in England are 50% towards an uprising. Right. Rival our rival. We can call back our diplomat from Commonwealth. And we don't have another mission yet. Immoral prices. We must pay and distribute what bread there is. I'm happy with doing that. Ban the publications. I don't want unrest. Conquer Quitzeo. I shoot the sounds. Uh... No. Where is Quitzeo? Unless that's a specific uh, province. Oh, yeah, it is. It's right here. No, I'll pass, I think. I shan't be doing that. God, I'm really miffed that France claimed my throne. Buggers. Uh, how am I with Portugal? They like me. France. Despite trying to uh, repeatedly claim my throne. They l like me. Hmm. Who is England's rivals then? Portugal, me and France. Okay. So, never mind. I was hoping that I... I need to perhaps expand. I've only got two out of five Diplo re uh, relations taken. So, I could try buddying up to the Commonwealth. They will not have me. Um, nobody will have me. Boo-hoo. Commonwealth are beasting it. They're doing really well. Poor Ottomans aren't doing well. I mean, it looks like they started off doing well and then suddenly are not doing so well. The Hansa, or Hasa, sorry, um, seem to be doing well. What else is going on in the world? Uh, Brunei, amazingly. 
Oh dear. Ming has imploded, and uh, the various off uh, offshoots that it seemed to be in quite well. Russia's reasonably big, but they seem to have slowed down. Japan's formed. Hmm. Not too bad. Not too shabby at all. Our uh, diplomat did just get found out, which is a little bit annoying. Right. 22nd of December. Seal of Confession. Hmm. More Diplo power. Yeah, I think we'll just go for Diplo power. It's an extra month, Diplo power. It's better than the kick in the teeth. Who are they at war with now? Still the same people. Kanzibi. Right, foreign claim lost. F you, France. F you. Sods. Oh dear, so it looks like Kanzibi are losing the war now. Yep, they just got a glimpse of them about to get stack wiped by the looks of it. Are there any more policies I can take that are of any uh, major use to me, I wonder? Spy network construction, aggressive expansion impact, da -da -da. trade efficiency and embargo efficiency might be good. Just for the mainly for the trade efficiency. Goose produce modifier, maybe. I can get another manufactory, I think. Uh, not quite. One more month. Hoorah. Or, although I won't see the effects of these for quite a while, because obviously manufacturers take so long to actually build. Slightly annoying that, um, well, I don't know, I'm enjoying this campaign. It just seems like every time we come close to thinking, oh, might take swipe of it, swipe England now, they sort of uh, somehow manage to avoid getting uh, clobbered. Oh well, I'm not too worried. Um, New Ireland, yes. So we'll recall our guy from New Ireland. We'll do counter espionage against Norway because they re-rivaled us. And who else will we go for? Who else do we want to mess up? Who are England allied with? Uh, Argentina has a liberty desire. So I'm just so discontent. Or can I, should I do that in England? I'm going to slander their merchants. Hmm, actually. What would give me more? What would give me a greater benefit? Slandering their merchants or sowing discontent? I'm going to sow discontent. But then that will only affect. That will only affect. Um, hmm. Unrest and legitimacy. That won't affect their liberty desire, I don't think, so I don't see the point. No, so I'm going to um, slander the merchants of England. See how much money that, how much more money that gives us. Mary Reed, pirate sloop revenge with Calico Jack Rackham as captain. How the rum party when the pirate cap. Hunter Captain Jonathan Barnett disabled the ship with a volley of fire. Oh god, I'm not going to read that all. Plus, I haven't got my glasses on, so reading that much text just isn't going to happen, really. So, it's essentially the story, by the looks of it, of, um... Yeah. Hmm. So, essentially, I can gain 50 admin power. And... Um or gain an admiral. I don't want an admiral. I'd want the admin power, but look how depressing that is. Too bad she will be hanged when her child is born. Brutal. But I want admin power, so I'm going to go for it. How much money am I making? So actually, slandering Eng England earned us almost 10 more ducats a month, which is good. How much long did... How m blah, 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 blah. Losing my words. How long does that last for... Oh, uh, July... Okay, so it's five years. I guess it lasts four. It's good. 
Um, oh dear. English, Peru, Argentina. Their uh, liberty desire is very high. And what the hell is this? What the hell is this? That's not on. God damn it. Something tells me this could have gone a little better. God damn it. Oh well. Right. Come on. Get rid of it. There we go. That's one. another one done. So I'm just going to um, make sure we have as much access to as many provinces for colonization as we want by making a little outcrop, I guess you could call it. Just want to expand colonial Mexico as fast as possible because they should be the ones really making me a lot of money and they were making me nothing because they weren't expanding. I guess they weren't expanding on their own for some reason. Uh, I do have an extra merchant though from expanding colonial Mexico. So where shall I put him? Um, I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Let's... What? Well, the trade can only go in one direction from there, so there's no point doing that. Um, hmm. That is a very long route. Oh, God. Choices, choices. I might actually... Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put them up here in the... I think this is the White Sea. Must be in range. How the hell are they not in range? Um, so I guess... Hmm. How can I do this? So... Huh. Okay, so the trade goes that way and up around there. So what if I transfer trade power with this guy and make him force the trade that way? Yes, so more trade will leave out of there and then hopefully come to the North Sea. That's what I want. Um, there we go. Provincial trade power modifier and foreign spy detection up 33%. That should... How much will that boost our money by? 37.37. That is good. Very happy. Very, very happy. Um, and I think I should use... Oh, my uh, guy must have got caught. There we go. Go back there. And I think that means that we should capitalize on the fact England don't have... Uh, or rather got slandered, and we should build some ships. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll crank out another ten, actually. Um, so, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. That should, they should all roughly finish at the same time then, if I judged it slightly, even vaguely close. I guess we'll find out. How did England's, uh, how did the rebels in England go? I suppose there's not really any way of finding out, is there? No. There's war with Spain again. 
Spanish conquest of Gabon. So Spain are trying again. Oh, no, the French were going for it, weren't they? And now Spain are trying for it again. When's France's truce? 95. Hmm. So, there's the potential that we could actually still go to war in the not-too-distant future. If France are going to... Uh... Oh dear, losing money. Um, yeah, there is that potential that we could go to the war in the not-too-distant future then. Because France will probably declare war in England again. They appear to be at war with the uh, Netherlands at the moment. God, France is just storming everyone. <laughs> Poor everyone. As long as they don't come anywhere near me, I don't care. So what I'm hoping is that once France finishes through this war, their truce will roughly be up. And then what I could do is hopefully call them into a war against England. Or hopefully England... I mean, they their troops have just gone on their ship. So there's two years. This war has to drag on for two years. And hopefully their troops are away while it does. If that is the case, I will then be able to sweep in and declare war on England. That is what I shall do. My grand master plan. Mwahahahaha. Come on. 14th of April. To like send another one. That's not ideal. Go. There we go. I'm amazed, frankly, that Argentina haven't declared uh, li well, Liberty Desire 66, so it has gone down. English Peru is still high. English Brazil is like nothing. Hmm. Maybe that's because they're in war, though. Does being in war affect Liberty Desire? I mean, I know they can't declare an independence war while they are... At it within a war with England, like on the side of England. So I wonder, maybe they will afterwards, because that would be the perfect time to pounce on them, essentially. So this should be... Oh, okay, we got three more ships still being made. So I didn't exactly time it very well. And... Yeah. Just wait for these ships to finish and we will uh, send them off on their merry way. God knows where we're going to send them, though. Um, recall. Recall, recall, recall. May We do need to like try and fund them or trade. Maybe we send them to the North Sea, I don't know. I can build another manufactory, which is what I shall do. There we go, one there. Come on, a few more days. Ta-da. Right, so let's see where we'll have the greatest benefit. Whoops. Where we'll have the greatest benefit to send you. North Sea probably won't have a lot. Chesapeake Bay will apparently have a lot. Caribbean will apparently have a lot. Hmm. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So Chesapeake Bay is obviously here. I guess it's the downstream stuff as well that makes a difference. So like the... The more power I have in Chesapeake Bay, the more it will, like, trade. I think, isn't there an upstream bonus or something like that of having power downstream? Let's send it to Chesapeake Bay and then see how much that benefits us. Right, uh, Zacatecas is done. Where's that? There we go, you're there. Glorious. How long is our navy going to take to get there? Where are they currently? 
Okay, apparently they are already protecting Chesapeake Bay. Will they join up together, though? They have. My god. How much more money am I making as a result? I better be making lots more. It would appear I'm making... It's made no difference. Which is... Let's wait for one more month to tick by. It's making next to no difference. Okay. Why is it making next to no difference? How much is my trade? 55... It's gone up by a few percent. Hmm. Let's have a look. So, Ireland is using... Da -da 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 -da. Income... Oh, sorry. Uh, da -da -da -da. Sort by... Hmm. I'm not sure. I think that still is probably the best place to put it. Is there anywhere they're actually losing trade? Because wherever it goes, we're pretty much capturing it. There's none that's escaping other than two ducats here. Like here. I mean, obviously, I'm rang, like very approximate. And two ducats here. And one ducat there, essentially. So I'm not really making a huge amount of difference, to be honest. Um, but I am holding out some small hope that I will be able to... Um, Ooh, I'm going to get my claim on Fife back. Um, are there any other claims? When do these claims expire? 95, so next year. 95, ne oh, bugger. <laughs> 1707. Okay, so next year I need to have two more claims by next year, essentially. Or by the time I declare war, at least. Colonized Angra... Aquena. Where's that? Angra Pequena. That's Angra Pequena. What? You've got to be kidding me. No. <laughs> I ain't colonizing that. I ain't colonizing that rubbish. Um... I mean, South George is one thing, but over there, and the fact I need troops to hold it, no, not happening. So, uh, yeah, in the next episode, we'll see whether there's a potential for us to go to war with England. Because there... Uh, one thing I will do, though, before I forget, is at least in the North Sea, set, yeah, go to home at war... Go to war with England. What's their military doing before I, before I quit? Or oh, before I end this episode? Uh, that's France. There we go. England. So they're still doing reasonably okay. They're in one war against Spain, which they're winning. As we can see. Would be lovely if France declared war on them, though. But I guess we will find out. Oh, no. I didn't want to do that. We will find out uh, next episode. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will speak to you next time. Take care.